What is up, you guys? It's Jasper with your Godmother, and I am back. Okay, I am back with another reading. I um, am actually going to do a pretty short one today, but I felt like I was called to go ahead and get this message out. I channeled the message, it is time to come home, okay? Um, I did a short video on TikTok, and I just felt like I was not done with the message. So I wanted to come on here, and I wanted to give it to y'all as well. We are going to, however, pull some new cards and see if that same message comes out. Um... But yeah, for the most part, we just gonna go ahead and tap right in. I'm gonna start with this deck just because this is my first deck. This is like my OG deck, like my oldest one. Thank you. This is like my oldest one. So with the message being coming back home, I definitely felt like this was very, very fitting. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap in. Spirit guys, it's in the master. So family, twin flame, family, God. What messages do you have for my collective regarding it's time to come home? Yeah, 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 yeah. Regeneration, okay? Growing another limb, okay? Somebody got a third leg, okay? Um, Stability, strength, family. This is like two-parent households coming up. If you're single, this is getting engaged or becoming a couple. Um, this could be your finances regenerating. I'm definitely seeing kids or um, rainbow children or regeneration. Your lights could have been out. You're getting a generator. This is like bringing power to something where something was lost. And having the strength to do it, like really, really having the strength to do it. I'm seeing a lot of fish, so that could even mean, that could either mean a pregnancy or, and we got the Queen of Swords. No, this is balance, but we, um, that could either mean pregnancies or that could mean finances. Okay, and I'm guessing for y'all is finances because we do have the Six of Pentacles, which is a gift. The card says generosity. So this is God being generous with you. I feel like this is like a well-deserved gift that could be coming up this month. I feel like you're about to feel like a whole new world. Yeah, this is you stepping into something new. It's a source of victory, okay? This is your winning season, okay? I feel like the next two or three months, are going to be really pivotal for you you may have to do a lot of communicating with people even if you don't want to two of wands you may have a decision to make or um a road to cross i'm seeing like a doorway and it's kind of like well are you going to enter are you going to come in you know like what's up what's going on a lot of animals i definitely feel like you could be going to like a sea world type of thing going on like family vacation then i say queen of swords she came right out, okay? Again, that protective energy. I feel like you're protecting your mind, you're protecting your emotions. This is like not wanting people to get too close to you. So you do have that sword, right? But this is also realizing that you could be very cutting with your words or cutting with your words and being mindful of the things that you say to people and realizing that dang like okay words do hurt people and i don't necessarily want to lash out at people anymore you got the five of cups definitely if you didn't see the tiktok reading we had the five of cups and the queen of swords in that reading as well um so little things like that just show me that god is very much present in the things that i do um for a while i have really struggled because i grew up in a christian home i grew up in a church my grand not my grandmother um my grandfather was a minister a pastor and then my aunt sherry was also a pastor in her church or a deacon one of the two i don't know um so and i also have my mom my auntie lisa and my grandmother who all tell me that what i'm doing is like it's not that they tell me that it's not right but yeah, they do. My granny tell me that I'm gonna go to hell for doing what I do. And um, my auntie tell me that I'm teaching my daughter the wrong things. So having the three most valued women in my life tell me that what I'm doing is wrong for a while, not even for a while, sometimes still I question if what I'm doing is right um, and things like that. But deep down in my heart, I know that 
I get my information straight from God. When I tell y'all me and God is like this, I have been through so many things that nobody on this, nobody walking this earth could have pulled me out of. I've been through the deepest depths of my thoughts and nobody could have pulled me out of that but the Lord, but the Most High. So for me to allow other voices to be infiltrated into my energy, I did feel that queen of swords where it's like okay well i gotta protect what's going on i can't tell nobody my dreams um every time i told my mom what i wanted to do she never encouraged me like i had got um a rescue dog um like two years ago from um the shelter and the first bad thing that the dog did my dog my mom was like you don't need this dog you can't have this dog da -da -da. you can't handle it da -da 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 -da. and we ended up getting into it because when she said that i'm like you're my mom you're supposed to tell me that I can do anything that I put my mind to. Instead, all you do is incite fear into my plans. Now, my mom has never had my worst interest at heart. My mom is not a hater. My mom is not a bad woman. However, my mom sheltered me. I'm very much spoiled, even as a grown-up. She is very much using her own trauma and trying to protect me from it. So it's like my mom was a person who always bought me gifts and gave me things and her love language was gift giving um and i noticed that my mom didn't really have very much growing up like she grew up with a bunch of siblings and she lived with my great grandmother so the the kind of love that she gives me i know is the, the love that she gives to her inner child. So it's not for me to take offense to. So I'm kind of learning that it is important to protect my peace and it is important to protect certain dreams and goals. However, can't nobody infiltrate what God already has set for, for me. And I think that's where the fear-based mindset kind of comes in because sometimes it's like, I'm not gonna tell my mama this, or I'm not gonna tell this person this because like, if I was to get pregnant, oh, I'm not going to tell nobody because I don't want nobody to, you know, all on YouTube, you be hearing stuff about, even not when it's about pregnancy, people be like, oh, this person's sending an evil eye and da 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 da, -da. And the, oh, I believe in all of that. However, sometimes it can be as simple as somebody like, oh, that bitch pregnant. And just that energy is something that has an effect. But I'm learning that, like, if God told me I have this, I got this. Regardless of who I tell, regardless of who I don't tell, regardless of what energy somebody else put out there, can't nobody stop God. Can't nobody stop what God has for me, you know? So I feel like I am returning to my roots. I'm returning to my more spiritual side. After I had those miscarriages and I gave birth to my two stillborn babies, I felt like ain't no way I'm really spiritual because I didn't see this coming. How can I tell the future for everybody else? And I can't do it. I couldn't do that for myself. Um, and now that, you know, God has really just led me, led me through. I have been able to come into acceptance of why things happen. God has given me certain answers. And of course, I don't have all of them. And I'm going to continue to learn. And God is going to continue to show me the way. However... I just know for facts, for facts, like when I say for facts, for facts that God is in my ear, that God is on my side, that God leads me. So it's like now I don't necessarily want to live in a fear-based reality. I want to return home to my, I want to return home to my spirituality, not the Christian side of me, not the side, the 14-year-old rebel me who became Muslim, like yes i took my shahada y'all i've lived so many different lives and it's just like i've always been called to religion because i thought religion meant god and to me i always just wanted that connection with god i remember my mom praying over me when i was a little kid this is one of the only memories i have from that age and i i remember laying in the bed and looking up and thinking like how does god hear little old me you know um so I think that in this season, it's time to return back to 
who God appointed you to be. I feel like if you are part of my soul family, if you are here, we are definitely divine beings. Nobody is better than the next, but I do feel like we have a spiritual purpose. A lot of us are not meant to be working for people. A lot of us are meant to have nonprofit organizations, group homes, our own church homes. We're meant to have foundations, farms, agriculture, um, a bunch of properties. We're meant to help the community. We're, we're meant to be prophets. We're meant to, and not just prophets in the way we're prophesizing, but we're helping. I heard Messiah. I don't even know what that word means. Maybe that's somebody's name, but to be a helping hand, to be an aid for those near and dear to our hearts, to the children who have yet to come, to the crystal babies who are just like us, you know, who family didn't believe in them or who um, they grew up with the hardship, whether it have been poverty, whether it been molestation, whether it be um, narcissist parents, um, whether it be sibling rivalries, whether that be drug addiction. Um, people go through a lot whether this is people in third world countries going hungry, um, dirty, like this, 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 this feels like, I, I don't know, I just looked out and it says mosaic. Um, and they just hung those banners up. I think it's an election for mayor or something like that. But um, yeah, I feel like God is calling his children to return home. And I find myself always saying his because that is the norm, but it's hard for me. I don't want to say his, 33. Thank you, Ascended Masters. I don't want to say his, and I'm not saying God is not our father. However, I feel like God is something that cannot be summed up into gender. Um, I don't feel like God is neither. A, um, I feel like God is a woman, I do, but when I truly think about it, I feel like God is everything. God is love, God is the trees, God is the stars and the moons and the oceans and everything in between. There is no definite. And I feel like that's what kind of God wants us to return to, not putting a label on ourselves, not putting ourselves in a box, not categorizing ourselves. There are so much more to us. No, we're not just tarot readers. No, we're not just um, managers. No, we're not just employees. No, we're not just baby mamas. No, we're not just girlfriends. We're not just um, a black man, you're not just a white man. Like you're not just a pastor. You're not just a dancer. There are so many sides to you. And I feel like God is calling us back to the multiverse, to the different dimensions of what life can be, the different layers of what life has been. Like, even though we go through cycles and a lot of what happens in the past is like happening again, it feels like a program. There are only so many things people can go through. I say that to say, if you look on TikTok, if you look on Facebook, you see like so many people can repost the same thing. So many people are living the same lives. Maybe not exactly, but let's be real like let's be real like we have to we have to look at each other as brother and sister like we have to look at each other as how can i be of service to humanity not just myself not just humans but how can i be of service to everything like the squirrels and the animals they're my brothers and sisters you know theoretically you know, like we're all in this together. The trees are my mothers, are my grandmothers, are my aunties and the matriarchs of the essence of the being. Like they are our roots and we have to play a role in their survival, the oceans and stuff like that. We have to play a vital role in keeping it safe and keeping our earth safe. Like. I feel like we have to return home to to eating fruits and vegetables, to having a raw diet, to living longer. Like we there's no way we should be passing away at 80. There's no way black people should have hypertension and diabetes and high blood pressure because of what we eat. Like there it just it doesn't have to be that way. You got the sun in reverse. You know, it's time to bring sunshine back into our life. It's time to honor what the sun is. It's an energy source. It's the all-seeing. It's the all-knowing. It sees. 
and it is a masculine energy. So if you think about it, when we're sleeping, the moon is out. The moon is very feminine. So maybe women are slept on. Maybe if you're a masculine energy, maybe you're sleeping on the women in your life, like not realizing that you have to return home, right? This is home, the, the womb, you know, it's, it's home. Returning back to our women, this is the ma divine masculines waking up to their roles and what they have to be. This is not them healing for us or healing for a woman, healing for their kids. This is them realizing the divine power within themselves, the divine light that they have within themselves that don't have nothing to do with a woman. This is men choosing celibacy, semen retention. This is women choosing um, to be celibate. To not give themselves away so that they can usher in divine partnership. So that we can have these families and create these crystal children. Like, when I think about my daughter, I didn't teach her to be the way she is. But she don't want to eat animals. She does not. She don't play that. Like, she is literally a child of God. She always talking about, like, oh, we don't want to make the earth mad. And it's some of the things she say blow my mind. Like, today she was like, um... Something, something, something. Sometimes birds fly too high, they go to heaven, but then they come back down as something else or as a ghost or something like that. And I'm like, okay. You know, so she gets her own channelings that have nothing to do with me or school or anything. This is returning back to homeschooling your children, returning back to having that farm and feeding those elders, you know, giving them food. The, the fool. Right? This is like a new beginning, a fresh new start, a new journey that is all our own. That is something that we have created, the Ten of Swords. Something is ending. The programming is ending. The poverty is ending. There is no way America, California, New York should have this many homeless people and immigrants. And, you know, like we should want to be in our homeland. And I get immigrants wanting to come here, but it's an illusion. This is no better. Yeah, there there are um, wars and um, poverty and un unlivable circumstances other places, but why? Why? Who is in control? Where we come from geographically is our makeup. Africans, they have a, a connection to that earth. Asians, they have a connection to that earth. Americans, who are we? Who are we? This is returning home. This is going, taking trips out the country, going to Haiti, going to wherever it is that your family is originally from. And I've always been a person who don't play about like giving the government my spit for no ancestry.com however this is like doing research yeah the tower this is like finding out family family secrets finding out who was adopted who's not a part of the family what bloodline is this person from how are we related kids and cousins like there are so many things that are hidden in families and I feel like there are so many young girls 12 to 14 having their uncle's children their father's children it is time to return home to what is right. Partnership, family, whether it's a man and a man, a woman and a woman, but family, creating a family within your home, two-parent households, no matter what the gender, no matter what the religion, you could have a Christian and a Muslim woman. So what? Combine the values. That's what America is about, combining, being a melting pot, right? So as much as we want to combine, this is also getting back to your roots, getting back to what's right for you. You never know. Yeah, y'all may be interracial, but maybe in a past life y'all wasn't. And what y'all mission was, was to despite being different races or religions or um, belief systems coming together anyway, because guess what? God loves unconditionally. This is not transactional. You don't have to be doing something for me for me to do something for you. 
I love you not for how you look or what you believe in. I love you because your soul recognizes mine and mine recognizes yours. And we are gods. I am a goddess. I have God within me. There's no way that anybody's going to tell me Kamaya is not me. The way she walks, her mannerisms, the way she speaks, the way she thinks, she's me. So who am I not to believe that I am not a goddess? Who am I to not believe that God is not within me? That's crazy. I am definitely God's child. You know? The five of cups. Getting over triumph. Getting over sadness. No longer crying a pool of your own tears. But this is like choosing different cups. Getting these different people who have abandoned you. And like filling it all up. Filling it all up and choosing to see, not just to look, but to see past how people have treated you, past certain things that have happened to you, right? This is abandoning all that trauma. Yeah, it happened, but you don't have to live in that anymore. You don't have to stay there. Just because it happened, it happened. But your journey is not solely that. It's time to return home to who you were before the trauma. Before life made you hard and bitter and upset and angry. Before people taught you that black people weren't good people. Before people told you that this person is a gangster. Or to be scared of that person. To look at the person on drugs as if they're dirty or not good enough. To look down on the person with a disability. Before life taught you that, God is telling you to get back to love. Come back to me. Come back home. It's safe here. The way God hurts you is unlike, it's, it, it doesn't hurt as bad as the way that we as humans hurt each other. God does stuff for our greatest good. The Queen of Swords again. God does things for our greatest good. And it always has a rhyme and a reason. And... You know, I, 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 I do believe in God has everything planned out, but I do believe that God gave us free will. I do believe that sometimes we make decisions outside of what God told us to do because I, I see myself doing it all the time when I procrastinate. I saw something, Ace of Cups, that said um, procrastination is the arrogance of thinking that you'll always have this time. Procrastination can also be a form of self-love. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. But again, we have perceptions. We have different views. Everybody sees things differently. That doesn't make something right and it doesn't make something wrong. It doesn't make something demonic. It doesn't make something evil or less than. This is returning to non-judgment of self, of others, of your mother, father, friends, people who have done you dirty, rapists. People who have robbed you, broke into your house, stole your car. People, j bosses who have humiliated you in front of the team. Um, a mother who left you to go get her drugs. You know, like a mother who was always at home drunk and not able to take care of you. This is forgiving. Ace of Wands. We saw the Ace of Cups. We got the Ace of um, Swords right here. And now we got the Ace of Wands. This is new beginnings in all aspects of your life. Communication, your thought process, your passions, you know, relationships, connections, and love. You know? Only thing that didn't pop out is career. And I feel like we're not focused on career. Career comes as you walk in your purpose. God will tell you. God will divinely order your steps. With the fool, right? Ace of disc. We got all the aces, literally. Okay, this is returning home, y'all. Go back to your community. I'm here in Amish. But this is going back to your community, finding your community, linking back up with old friends or family members who have grown. This is seeing people's growth. Before people go to the great beyond, I'm seeing the movie Soul. You know, some things are not meant to be thrown away or, you know, um, dismantled or broken down. Some things are meant to be broken through. Okay. All right. No more cards are coming out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Share it on all your other social medias. And I am out of here, you guys.